Okay, so the next bit we're doing is actually understanding the um, equation of a linear line. Um, so there's parts of it that you need to remember. Um, so to start off with, every linear line has this formula. Okay, y equals mx plus c. Now sometimes they've been rearranged, they don't always look like this, but most of the time you're going to have to make it look like this to be able to answer the questions that we're going to be doing today. So, um, first thing is wondering what the m and the c stand for. Now the number in front of the x, which we call m, is the gradient. Okay, and the gradient is just how steep a line is. Okay, so if you've got a line that has a gradient of 2, that's not going to be as steep as a line that has a gradient of 10. Okay, so the bigger the number, the steeper that the line will be. Okay, and then the next bit is this plus C here. Now this isn't always um, a positive number, it might be a subtract number. Um, but this is called the y-intercept. Okay, and that's just where it crosses the y-axis. Okay, so when we were plotting linear lines, um, you had the two axes, you had the x and you had the y. The number on the end tells you straight away where it will be crossing the y-axis, okay, which is the vertical one if you can remember okay so using this information we are then able to answer questions like these so um first thing we need to identify from these three equations the gradient and the y-intercept okay so as we've just said the number that's in front of the x um is the gradient so for the first one the number that's in front of the x is the 2 so the gradient will just be 2 okay and the y intercept is the number that's added or subtracted on the end so the number on its own is this negative 3 so the y intercept will be negative 3 okay and that's all you have to do now they do try and trick you like on b because they've put them the wrong way around but still just remember Gradient is always the number in front of the x. So if we look at the x, we've got this 5. Now you do include the sign as well. So the gradient is actually going to be negative 5. Okay. And then the y-intercept is the number. So we've got the number 10. So the y-intercept will be 10. Now, as I said before, I did say some will not have this form. Okay, like the last one. But to be able to find the gradient and the y-intercept, it has to be in that form. So I don't want it to have 2y here, I just want 1y. So to sort that out, we need to divide the whole equation by 2. And we'd get y equals 3x plus 5. And then we can do the same thing as above. So the gradient is the number in front of the x, which is 3. And the y-intercept is the number on the end, which is five okay so that's the hardest you'll get you might need to do a little bit of rearranging but overall it's quite nice and simple okay i'm just going to turn over so these questions are asking for the reverse so we're given the gradient and the y-intercept we're expected to then put it all together and make the equation of the linear line okay so i will write here at the top so every equation of a linear line looks like this Okay, so this is your gradient and this is your y-intercept. Okay, so both of these are going to be equal, y equals. Now we know for this one the gradient is 2, so that m we're going to change to a 2 and it will still keep the x. The y is, the y-intercept is whatever's added on, so the y-intercept is here, so 7. So the answer will be y equals 2x plus 7. Okay, and then on the last one, same idea, y equals, the gradient goes in front of the x. Now this one, the y-intercept, is we're told, is zero. Um, so you could write add zero on the end, but you don't need to. So actually, that is the final answer. y equals minus 4x plus nothing. 
Okay, so just remember this formula is really important that you have to remember on top of your heads and know what the M and the C stands for.